Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy holidays. I hope everyone's having a wonderful holiday. Today I want to make some holiday brandy balls and these brandy balls can be for Christmas. I'm kind of late for Christmas but maybe you could run out to the store and get the ingredients but it's perfect for New Year's brandy balls. And I'm making it with French brandy from Ciroc. I don't know if you can see that, but this is Ciroc's French brandy. And I'm going to tell you all the ingredients. Okay, let's first start with that. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your powdered sugar. Okay, and I, I have some extra powdered sugar because I like mine to be a little more, um, have more substance, put it that way. You really only need one. But for me, I like to work in a little more as I'm mixing it. So that's why I have a little extra. Okay, and you're gonna need your butter. You're gonna need this right here I did already. I did ahead of time. And this is a cup of um, honey roasted almonds. And I grounded my honey roasted almonds. And then I poured this, the Ciroc brandy on the nuts until it covered the nuts. And then you can soak it overnight when you soak it overnight, all of those flavors, the brandy flavors soak into the nuts. You can soak it overnight or you, or you can soak it for a couple of days. I soaked mine for a couple of days. So this this is really nice and flavorful. Okay, and potent, I should say. It's really nice and potent. <laughs> Ready for New Year's or Christmas. Um, so then we're gonna use, this is gonna be after we make the balls, after we mix everything and make the balls, then we're gonna dip them. And these are candy melts. I got the green for the holidays. And I got, um, these are light cocoa. It's chocolate, it's really chocolate. So I got the light, I mean, I got the dark green and I got chocolate. Okay, that's gonna be we're gonna, what we're gonna cover our balls in. Okay, and I've made, um, in the past, I, this is the first time I'm doing brandy. I thought the Ciroc brandy would probably be really nice brandy balls but in the past for um like um, family gatherings or something i would make um cognac balls so you can do cognac too you can do cognac rum brandy i've even done bourbon balls for you know a family party so those are things that you can use okay those are things that you can those are the, the different um liquids so you, you, you can use any kind of liquid these are going to be for the holidays but you can also use different flavors. You know, they have the tropical, especially Ciroc, they have all these different flavors, tropical flavors you can do for parties in the summertime or anytime, anytime, okay? Different flavored liquids. You don't have to use brandy. You can use other liquids. Whatever liquid you think would be good in the candy. It would be some really nice candy for a party, for an adult party, <laughs> okay? So what I'm going to do, let me move these aside because we're not using this yet. So I'm just going to move them over here and bring my bow over and I'll show you what I do. Okay. So first we're going to cut open the powder sugar and we're going to use the whole pack. I'm going to use the whole pack of powder sugar. Okay. I guess that's open good enough. The whole pack. Let's pour the whole pack in the bow. I might need a bigger bow. I thought this bow would be good, but maybe I need to get another bow. And let me get, let me use this. I'm gonna use this mix, the spoon for mixing. And what we're gonna do, okay, and I forgot to tell you that the butter was softened. This butter was softened, okay? You want your butter softened. You can melt the butter too if you'd like, but I think that the balls, for me, they come out firmer. If you want a more um, creamy, light consistency, then you want to melt your butter. But I like mine's room temperature because I like mine's a little firmer because I feel like they last longer because actually you need to keep them in the refrigerator or in the freezer. Okay? They need to stay chilled. Okay, so there's the, there's the butter. And this is a, these are nuts. And I forgot to tell you that once my nuts soaked, it expands. 
So once it expands, you want to add a little more liquid to loosen it back up again. So this is about a cup or close to a cup and a half. Okay, this is close to a cup and a half of the grounded nuts and the brandy. So we're going to pour the whole thing in here. I'm sorry, that's my granddaughter in the background. Can you wait? Hold on just a moment. We're going to turn this down just a little bit, okay, mommy? It's too loud on the video, okay? I'm doing this first thing in the morning, and so my granddaughter just woke up. Everyone was asleep. <laughs> okay, that's my brandy and my roasted, my honey roasted almonds. So now what you want to do is start trying to just mix it all in. I might have to get a bigger bow. You know what? I thought this bow would be a nicer bow to use. <laughs> I love this bow. This was my grandmother's bow. This glass bow belonged to my grandmother. I'm so glad that I have it. It's a nice bow. So, okay. It might be okay. So just keep mixing and smashing it so that you can get the butter all incorporated. And after you get it all incorporated, you're going to chill it. You can chill it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Or you can chill it in the freezer if you want it to chill quicker. It doesn't matter where. It could be the freezer or the refrigerator. So what, once you do that, you're going to want to start adding a little more until you get the consistency. A little more brandy until you get the consistency that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little more. Be very careful. Just a little tiny bit at a time because powdered sugar disintegrates quickly fast and easy with liquid so you don't want to pour too much just a little tiny bit at a time see how it's coming together hey, yes baby I okay just kind of turn the I'm going to keep mixing it. I'm sticking. That's okay. See how pretty that's getting already? Can you see how pretty that's getting already? Let's get closer. Can you see that? Make sure I'm close enough for you. Okay, we're going to add a little more brandy. Just a little tiny bit at a time. Just a little tiny bit. It smells so good with the roasted almonds. This is perfect for New Year's. Brandy balls or cognac balls. That would be good. Cognac balls are delicious. And I, you know, another thing I did not mention, I, I don't know, maybe I did mention it, but when I made, when I used to make the cognac balls, I, um, Okay, so this is a little wet, so that's when I have the extra powdered sugar. When I when I used to make the cognac balls, I would make these candy kits. They have them in caramel, and it just tastes delicious with the roasted almonds that's in the mix, and then it's covered in the caramel candy. Oh my goodness, it's so good! It's the perfect party ball. They didn't have any, so that's why I don't have it. When I went to get my candy melts they didn't have any of the um caramel melts that's just really delicious but it's still going to be delicious with the, the green and or the chocolate okay that is beautiful just a little tiny bit because i like you don't have to do this step because when you put it in the refrigerator, it's going to chill anyway. And it might be more of a um, 
lighter buttery taste if you don't add more powder. It still tastes nice and buttery, but I like mine's to be a little more firm because I feel like it's um, it lasts longer outside of the refrigerator. It keeps life better because once it's outside sitting out, it, it melts. The, the cream can kind of get soft and melty inside. It, it, it still holds its shape, but it just holds better when it's when it's a little firmer, when the mix is a little firmer. Okay, so this is the way the mix looks. Okay, let me put this down. I'm making a mess. I'll clean that mess up. But that's the way it looks, okay? That's the mix. And I'm going to put it in the freezer. You can put it in the refrigerator, but I'm going to put it in the freezer. And I'll come back when it's ready for me to start making balls and show you how I do that step, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. And the mixture has been chilled. You can see it's solid. And now we're going to make brandy balls. Ciroc French brandy balls. Okay, and what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use a spoon. And you're just going to kind of use your own judgment when you're making the balls, okay? The side. So you just scoop some out, take it in your hand, and see it's solid, and then start rolling it, roll it, uh, hopefully it'll roll. Let's see, I want it to start rolling. <laughs> It's kind of um, dry on top from being in the um, freezer. I put it in the freezer and it would only take about an hour in the freezer. But then I set it in the refrigerator for a minute. So you really, all you really need to do is be patient. I'm not patient. And put it in the refrigerator for two hours. Okay. I just need to put it in there. Now it's a little better. That's a little better. And you want to lightly roll because it's going to be a little sticky when you're rolling. Okay. Light, lightly roll it into a little brandy ball. Cognac ball was on the tip of my tongue because that's what I'm used to. Let me put it here. Okay. I'm used to doing cognac balls, and they're delicious. But I tasted this mixture, and it tastes just as good as the cognac. Same thing. And of course, it's going to be good if it's Ciroc. So all you're going to do is just keep making little balls, and you just scoop it with the spoon. Use your own judgment. Okay? Put it in your hand and roll it. Roll it lightly because it's going to be a little sticky. Okay, so I'm going to go on and roll some more of the balls. And then I'll come back and show you my balls. After I, after I roll them, after I fill this pan, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator or the freezer. I'm going to put it in the freezer, actually, because I think the better it chills, the better it would work when you're trying to dip it in the chocolate because the chocolate is going to be kind of warm and you don't want it to break apart on you, okay? So I'm going to go in and finish this whole thing, chill it for about an hour in the freezer, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I came back just for a minute because I wanted to show how much batch it's left over because I'm only making, this right here is about 20, let me see, maybe 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are 24 balls that I made. And you can see there's still a lot of mix. And what I'm gonna, what you can do is make a big batch and then save some 
and you can always make balls. You will always have a batch that you can go to. You can. Let me show you what I'm gonna do with this, and then I'll explain that. Well, let's move this and put this in the freezer. I just wanted you to see the balls. I'm gonna put this in the freezer, and let me show you what I'm gonna do with the batch, the rest of the batch. Okay, I'll be right back. Or right. just stay there. I'm coming. <laughs> So what you can do with the rest of your batch if you don't want to use it all, but actually this would count up to maybe, I'll say, maybe almost a hundred. I would say close to a hundred. You can make at least about um, 90 to a hundred balls from this batch in the measurements that I gave you for this batch, okay? So what I'm going to show you now is I have foil and some parchment paper and I'm going to take this out. Got to have a really strong, this is a rice spatula. Rice spatula is so strong. I like using it for other things, not just for rice. But I'm going to scrape this out into the foil. Take all this out. Put it in the foil. Get all that good, 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 good stuff. Ooh. I don't like, let me say, I don't like brown liquor. I don't like drinking brown liquor. But it makes good candy. <laughs> You can make some good holiday, you can make some good holiday candy with it. And if you like brown liquor, you would really love this. I think everyone would love it though. So just form it. I just want to form it a little bit. Because what you can do, this is what I wanted to explain. If you form it, oh, I'm getting messy. I'm getting it on my sleeve. If you form it, then once it freezes, you can, and, and this is another thing, it lasts, it lasts forever in the freezer. You can always go take a little bit off if you want to make a couple of brandy balls. And what you can do is just slice, slice, make little slices, and then section it off and make balls. Just slice what you need, and you always still can come back for more if you don't want all of it. Okay, so let me wash my hands and then show you how I'm gonna wrap it up, put it in the freezer, and have some that I can use in the future. This would be a good idea if you're having, you know, you know you might have company and you can Say, oh, I know what I can make that would be really nice. I still have the, the brandy mixture for brandy balls. I think I'm going to use some. See, it just kind of scrunch it up on the side. There you go. And you can put this in the freezer and you always have your brandy ball mix in the freezer when you want to mix brandy balls. You don't have to make it again and again and again. Or you can make it for gifts. That's another thing. It was enough in here to make close to a hundred and then you can put them in little boxes. I did that last Christmas. Let me show you. I'm going to go get some of the boxes and I'm going to show you what I did. Let me get my boxes up here. I have a whole cupboard full of boxes that I use for brandy balls. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm trying to see if I have a... Because 
they have different sizes. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> I'm still talking. <laughs> but last year, I didn't make brandy balls. I made cognac balls, which is, is made the same way. And it tastes just as good. But last year, I made them for Christmas gifts. And all you do is get some pretty boxes. See how pretty it is? Get some pretty boxes. You can put some tissue paper in here and put tissue paper on top after you put the brandy balls. And there you go. Cover it, put a bow on it, and you got you a nice Christmas gift. I got these at the dollar store. And I was lucky because when I got it at the dollar store, they had different sizes. And you can just put, they, they had them inside like that. Like I had this size, and then this size, and then they had two smaller, two, two more smaller sizes, all stacked within each other. See, so this goes in here, and then this one on top. And so therefore, I had a whole lot of extra boxes. And they said that I can buy it like that, so that was a good deal. Okay, just wanted to show you what you can do. I'm not doing this, but this is something. That okay, sorry about that. I don't have very much space. I'm trying to clean my phone, but I'm having a hard time with that. But, okay, so I'm back. Let me hurry up with this, okay? Because I'm, I don't know how much space I have on my phone. But these are the candy melts. I put it in a microwave dish, and I'm going to put this in the microwave and melt it. And I'm also going to do the same for the green, okay? And I might just show you the chocolate ones, and then when the next time I come back, you will see that I did the green ones, okay? I'll be right back, okay? Oh, I also wanted to tell you that I usually put a little tiny bit, just like a little drop or two, of oil something's popping up uh, I put a drop or two of oil to smooth it it makes it really nice and smooth okay I'll be right back okay so I melted I melted the chocolate it's all melted and I put a whole cap of oil in it to make it really nice and smooth okay and I have some water here on the side some hot water just in case I need to set the bowl in there if it starts getting too um, thick because that means once it's getting cold it's getting thick and maybe I could um, bring some life back to it so I'm gonna get a, a ball I have a ball I'm put it in here and take the spoon and spoon the chocolate on it and then I'm gonna take the fork and let that drip, drip off the excess chocolate, okay? I have a, a toothpick, and I'm going to help get that excess, and then it's, it's going to help me to lay it back down on the pan, okay? On the tray, on the pan, whatever you want to call it, because it's glass. I guess you could say it's a glass case. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Let's get the next one. Put it in there. And spoon. This is really, the, the candies are really cold. So the fork gets kind of stuck because I put the, um, the brandy balls in the freezer. So that it doesn't break off too much when I'm putting it in this warm chocolate, okay? And that's how they look, okay? So I'm gonna go in and do all of it. I'm gonna do the chocolate ones and the green ones, and then I will come right back, okay? And show you the finish, part, that finished part. Okay, I wanted to come back for a second because it seems like it, turns out to be an easier way for me to do this so 
what you want to do is what you just saw me do. I spoon the chocolate on the ball and then go back and forth to get the excess off. And use the spoon because the spoon seems to drop it down easier. Okay, see I'm putting the ball in and then you spoon the chocolate on, pick it up and go back and forth while you're getting off the excess okay use the fork I mean the spoon use the spoon because it seems to work better than what I was doing at first okay I'll be right back I just wanted to show that right quick okay here I am back after I dipped all the balls in the candy quick or it's not candy quick <laughs> that was my last that was my last video the candy melts. We have chocolate and we have green for the holidays. Oh my goodness. Wait just a moment. I hope this is not going to show up on my video. Something popping up. Okay. Let me hurry up. I don't have that much space. I've been trying to clean this phone. <sighs> so what I'm going to do next is I have this red frosting. You can make your own frosting too, you know, put it in a little Ziploc bag and cut the corner, you know, really tiny. But anyway, this is what I have now. So I'm going to decorate the balls, okay? And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to, let me start here. Just start here. And just put lines as the decorations okay just put the lines at the decoration okay just like that let me put one close by so you can see just put the line 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 and there you go and take off the excess i have a rag over here i can wipe my finger okay just do a line a line line and there you go okay can you see that? Let me get down a little more so you can see closely. See? You do a line. And if you see some of it coming out, that's what I was talking about. With why I like to put more frosty, but it's still still pussing out. That's what it's doing. I don't know what other word to use. That sounds nasty, but that's what it's doing. But it's delicious once you bite into it. Creamy and delicious. Okay. So I'm going to finish lining them. So I'm messing that up. And I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay. Okay. So here's my finished product. My Ciroc. French brandy balls. You can have them for the holidays or any time. And they're perfect for New Year's. New Year's Eve parties. I have my brandy and eggnog in the background. You can have your eggnog and eat your brandy balls. Or you can have you a glass of Ciroc, French brandy, and drink and eat you some brandy balls. Merry Christmas or happy holidays, everyone. Here's my beautiful Christmas table. And you can see the Christmas tree in the background. There's our Christmas tree. And 
And here's the Brandy Balls. You can have a party. Brandy Balls for your party. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like my video, please subscribe, like, and comment. Please like my videos. I need some likes. I'm not getting enough likes. Please, if you like my videos, please support me and like them and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay? Thank you very much. And I'm also going to say uh, my word for the day is to be kind to others because you don't know what they're going through. Give someone some love and kindness because you don't know what their story is. Okay, thank you very much and happy holidays.